Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world, and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracts will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. Greetings to you, my friend. Welcome to the Tuesday edition here at Bible Tract Echoes. And if you are a regular listener, you know what I'm about ready to say. This is Tract and Truth Tuesday. Those are the words, Tract and Truth, that we use to be a title for each one of our Tuesday broadcasts. On our Tuesday broadcast, we deliberately set aside the Bible study that we're doing, and presently we are going through the book of Ruth, but we set it aside on our Tuesday broadcast, and we talk about gospel tracts, we talk about telling the gospel, we try to encourage one another in the things of just being a faithful servant in the gospel for the glory of Almighty God. And to that end, we are going to use our Tuesday broadcast, our Tract and Truth Tuesday broadcast for that purpose today. Now, right now, if you can, take your Bible and open it with me to the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 1. I want to use it the things that are found here is God challenges Joshua to be a challenge to you and I as soul winners, and you'll see how that application is made here in just a moment. All right. You may want to get a pen and paper ready because I want to put into your hands a free sample packet of our gospel tracks, and let me not go any farther before I stop and just say, listen, do you know what a gospel tract is? I have one in my hand. Now, a gospel tract, that word tract is spelled T-R-A-C-T. It's an evangelism tool. By evangelism, I mean the overt telling, giving of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel found in the Bible, the word of God, giving that gospel to people who do not know Christ as Savior. That's evangelism. We can evangelize somebody by giving them a gospel tract. We can evangelize somebody by inviting them to a preaching service at a church or a meeting of some kind. We can evangelize somebody by just looking them eyeball to eyeball and sharing with them what Christ has done, who Christ is, what he has done to save people from their sin and give them the gift of eternal life. That's evangelism. Gospel tracts are a great tool for that thousands upon thousands of people around the world come to Christ every single year through a gospel tract. I want to give you one here in just a moment and tell you how to get a free sample packet from us. But let me lead into the broadcast time this way. You see, for 10 years now on our Tuesday broadcast, again, we call it our Tract and Truth Tuesday. For 10 years, we've been doing this, and our goal has been during those 10 years quite simple. Number one, we wanted to strengthen one another who know Christ in the work of personally telling the gospel. Number two, we want our Tuesday broadcast, obviously, to be a time where we want to move more and more believers to begin to use gospel tracts as part of their daily gospel life. And number three, it's been our hope to share with you some stories of how tracts have been used by God to impact lives, to see them come to Christ. Now, over the 10 years of our Tract and Truth Tuesday broadcast, we have heard from many listeners about how the Tract stories and the witnessing stories have really blessed and encouraged them. Right now in my hand, I've got three letters, and all three of them came to our office within the last week. I want to share these notes here with you in the hope that you will begin to use tracks if you presently are not, or that you will not become weary in well-doing if you are using gospel tracks, even if you are not seeing fruit from your labors in your days of service. Now, to that end, 
We want to be encouraging you today with the stories and from Joshua chapter 1. Before I read some verses out of Joshua chapter 1, I have a gospel tract in my hand, and this is a really good one. If you have never shared the gospel before, it's a good one for you to get. It's entitled, It's Free. And what makes this such a good tool, it's this. In this gospel tract, as you open it up, it emphasizes the fact that salvation from our sin is a free gift from God. And on the left-hand side, as you open the gospel tract, it asks this question, what is free? The answer is salvation is free. And there are five Bible verses that clearly state salvation is a gift from God. On the right-hand side, as your track is open, the question is, where can I find it? Where can I find this free salvation? Answer, it's in God's risen Son, and there are four Bible verses there which clearly say that salvation is in the person of Jesus Christ. The last panel on the back of this track asks this question, when and how may I have it? How can I have this gift of eternal life? When can I have this gift of eternal life? And the Bible verses are there to explain that you can have it right now. Now, friend, I'm telling you about this track for a simple reason. If you've never become involved in personally telling the gospel, this tool will be a handy tool for you to have with you because all the Bible verses you could ever want and need are here in front of you to share the gospel with clarity, even letting the person to whom you are talking read the verses for themselves. This track, again, is entitled It's Free. Just one of the 40 tracks in the sample packet will send you if you give us your name and mailing address. At the end of the program, my announcer will give to you our mailing address, phone number, website, and so on. And be ready, have pen and paper ready. And just in case you cannot stay to the end, please jot down our website. You can order the sample packet from the website. Our web address is this, BibleTracksInc.org. All those words are run together, BibleTracksInc.org. Well, if your Bible is open to Joshua chapter 1, let me point your eyes to verse 6. It says this, be strong and of a good courage. Look at the opening words of verse 7, only be thou strong and very courageous. Look at verse 9, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. And then the very last line of this chapter, the end of verse 18, it says this, only be strong and of a good courage courage. Four times here in this chapter, we are told to be strong and of a good courage. Before I read the letters that I've got here, let me encourage each one of us who uh, know Christ as Savior that we might become personally involved in telling the gospel. Here in Joshua chapter 1, we see that four times the challenge is told by God here to not be afraid and to be strong. Three of these four times, it is God saying these very words to Joshua himself. But why? Why is God telling this to Joshua? Well, in Joshua chapter 1, Joshua is beginning a new phase of life. He's moving from being the helper of Moses, the second hand of Moses, to become the leader in Israel. Moses is going to be gone. He's dead now, and Joshua takes over. And this new assignment was a daunting one, to be sure. And God called Joshua to be strong and courageous three times, but with each of the times he says this, God added a different reason. In verse 6, God says, be courageous because you have a place to serve. Joshua had to conquer the promised land, but then he had to divide it up among the tribes. In verse 7, God says, be courageous because you have a practice to do. Joshua was to live a distinctively different life because he was going to obey the word of God. And then in verse 9, God tells Joshua to be courageous because God's presence would be with him wherever he went. Let me apply these three calls to courage to each of us who know Christ today. Each of us who know Christ 
can begin a new life phase today, a gospel-telling phase. Number one, we have a place to be courageous, just like Joshua. Only you can be the witness in your place. I can't be there. You can't be in my place, but we all have a place to be a gospel witness. Number two, we have a life practice that requires courage. We've been called to live out the life of Christ. We're to live out his truth and his character. That takes courage in our day. And number three, we have God's presence with us wherever we go. Our Savior will never leave us nor forsake us. We can have a new life phase. We need the courage to do this. And if you've never been a personal gospel teller before, I challenge you to begin that new phase in your walk with God. Hear God's challenge to Joshua. God is calling you and me to be strong and courageous and giving the gospel to the lost people around us. I mentioned those letters. Here's one. Here's one coming from South America. He says that I am the chief technical officer in a company here, and he mentions the town in South Africa. I'm a saved child of God and would just like to acknowledge and thank you for the awesome work you're doing. Recently, I ordered some broadcasting equipment from a company in Elkhart, Indiana called Crown Broadcasting. And to what surprise I was to find your track inside the box. The track was, how can a person be away? I would like to thank you for your good work and successful work that you are doing. You are reaching the ends of the earth. Who would have known it? There's a broadcasting equipment company in Elkhart, Indiana, putting our tracks in with their equipment, sending them all over the world. We also got two letters, but they really kind of go together. I got this one from a church in Chillicothe, Illinois. It says this, Our junior church children signed cards for residents in nursing homes and veterans homes in our area. They include a track with the card. This past Christmas, they signed and sent out over a thousand cards and gospel tracks. We received a call yesterday from the son of one of the VA residents thanking us for the card and the track. He was quite blessed with both. Well, that came three days ago from a local church here, Calvary Baptist Church in Chillicothe. But then today in the mail, lo and behold, we get this letter. He says, my father is a resident at the Illinois Veterans Home. He mentions where it is. He received one of your tracks entitled The Christmas Characters from the Calvary Baptist Church in Chillicothe, Illinois. My dad is 95 years old. He loves Jesus. He became born again in 1967 at the age of 43. He is not clear on everything mentally today, but he is quick to express his love for the one who died for his sins. Praise God. I would like to have some of your track samples sent to me, and he tells us where to do that. Here it is, Junior Church Kids in Illinois, impacting a man's life 300 miles away in Indiana, by giving out a gospel tract. Oh no, nobody came to Christ in any of this, but some believers were strengthened because people gave out gospel tracts. Get some tracts from us as my announcer gives our contact information. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracts, you can contact us by calling 309 309- 828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website, Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.